I'm going to switch over to the part selector which is the simpler part of the tool. So I'm going to click on that and what it brings you over to is a page here in Excel that shows a lot of the inner sill parts and different topologies. Um, but up here at the top you'll notice there is a selection where you can select a uh, competitor part. So from this list you can select, you can go manual input which would allow you to enter your parameters yourself or you can select an actual device from the drop down and that will load up that parts uh, parameters and then it will find the closest inner cell device to those parameters. So I'll just give an example. I'll just click on one here. So it loaded up this AD5973 buck integrated FET and you can see the parameters for that and then what it did is it started looking for solutions that matched or bettered those parameters. So you can see the 85403 is what it's uh, the top device um, that is closest to the specifications are better. And what it does is it breaks it out color coded. Uh, green is it meets or exceeds specification. Um, the lightish green color is um, it's near the specification but it doesn't quite meet it and then the orange slashed is uh, it does not meet specification and in the reference to a current um, when it doesn't meet specification it also could mean it is over specified so by default um, if we're looking for a one amp device then up to a two amp device two times that value is acceptable so if it was suggesting a three amp device then we would not uh, color code that as being green we would color code that as being orange because you want to stick to something that's close to the actual specifications that you're requiring and not uh, too far over spec the device so that's a basis of how this tool works like say you can uh, from here you could go to uh, manual input if you wanted to actually your part wasn't in this long list of parts here um, you could come up here and you could go to manual input um, that would allow you to enter your parameters um, it would suggest a topology based on your input parameters um, and then you would select a topology that you wanted and show results which would bring you back um, to this part selector with uh, your your parameters entered and the closest device to meeting those parameters.